everyone and welcome back to the OCP, the original gosh oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when Brad's on, you get it perfectly fine, but when I'm on, you forget. Sorry. Hello everyone and welcome back to the OCP. The Original Coffee Cats <laughs> podcast. I nearly said it again. That's why. Uh, I Fuck sounded like off. Richard Nixon last time I did it. Original Coffee Cats. Well, you join us again. Oh. What was that? I had a drink. Great. You join us again on another Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what Tuesday this is, actually. Let's have a look. Add three days on from today. Uh, it is... 23rd. Actually, it might, might be the 30th. <laughs> Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do something um, different today. Mm. I say that every episode. You do. I swear yeah, I do. We, we are so repetitive now. <laughs> <laughs> Even we're getting sick and tired of the OCP. <laughs> well, we're we're slowly coming up to the 100th episode. Oh, which I'm so looking forward to. I don't know it. about you, but... It is. It's come around a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, only three years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's um, it's something I'm looking forward to it though, because I'll tell you why. Go on, tell me for why. We're gonna have a little break. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. I am. Okay. <laughs> My brain could do with the rest for okay. a moment. How long is this break? Because we've tried to discuss this. Well, I'm gonna say we'll aim for a month, right? But I reckon we'll want to come back before that. I think two weeks. Last time, last year, we took a three-month break for no reason. It was the worst thing we decided <laughs> to do. We didn't upload our first podcast till like March. Yeah. So, <laughs> but the plan is because we've not actually discussed this properly on the pod yet. Yeah, might as well. But the plan is that come the hundredth episode, which will be in a few weeks' time, um, we're going to take a small break, and in that time of having the break, there obviously won't be any episodes coming up. I'm sorry about that. Definition of break. All right. Unless you mean breaking of an item. I was going to break your back, mate. Shagging. <laughs> <laughs> and in that break, we're going <laughs> to gonna record um, a fuck ton of episodes. But the format... So it's not a break then, is it? Fuck you. It's not a break. We don't get it's our Saturdays back. It's a break for the back. listeners. They don't fucking need a break. They, you know what their break is? Not pushing play on the podcast. <laughs> they can have a break whenever they want. What's their fault then? I thought this was a break for us. Well, we get, we need time to record the shit in. I'm heartbroken. I thought I was getting some of my Saturdays back. No. <laughs> no. Mate, you're in this as much as I am. I know. I'm only kidding. I enjoy it. So in that time, we are going to record a fuck ton of episodes and we are going to switch the format up a little bit. So expect new and exciting things from the OCP because they are swiftly coming. As well, so does my stop penis. it, stop it, stop it. Oh. Weird. Another thing that's got to change <laughs> is you making those jokes. Calm down, <laughs> keep it in your trousers where it's been all your life because you haven't had any action. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to stop as well. What? <laughs> Fucking virgin jokes. No. Yes. No. Fuck okay, you. Okay, you can pick nonce or virgin. No. Yes. That's, <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, I'm giving you... You're lucky I'm giving you a choice, mother bitch. No. <laughs> nonce or virgin jokes. Which ones are staying? Which ones are going? Oh, fucking virgin. You'd rather be associated as a nonce. No. There is nothing embarrassing no. about the being other a virgin. One. You what? said which one do you want? I, like I said virgin. which one is going, and you said, "Oh, oh right, no, virgin, fuck, fuck the nonce off." Okay, Jesus that's right. Well, sorry, fuck the nonce, nonce, nonce off. returns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. All what right. a callback. Uh, just for reference, Alex is not a pedophile. Gee, yeah, cheers. That's just to some record. I mean, didn't need to be, but all right, that's cool. People don't know you, and if they saw you, you'd think, "Yeah, touch his kiss." <laughs> so we're going to be doing something slightly <laughs> different today. No, you got you got to say no. That's not true. <laughs> That's what every nonce would say. <laughs> Not true. Some of them take full responsibility for their actions. Oh, no, no. What am I going to do for work? <laughs> <laughs> she said she was 12. <laughs> oh, God, I've not seen that. Um, um, she said she was 12. No. I don't want to watch it. It's like a vine. It's like, like six, six seconds. So we're going to be doing something different today. Um, it's not really. 
Today we are going to be doing the weirdest ways people have actually died. I'm going to actually start off today's episode with um with some of these. Right. Oh, okay. So here I've got some quick fire ways that people have died, okay. and I've got 50, so I'm going to hopefully get through them all throughout the episode. Am okay. I allowed to laugh? Yeah, of course you are. Because the first one's got me. Okay. So the first one... <laughs> We got falling out of bed. <laughs> 450 people per year die after falling out of bed. Oh, God. Hang on. I want to do some stats. You keep going with the quick one. I want to see how many people die from shark attacks each year and compare it to death by falling out of bed. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> um, in the USA, over a span of five years, the annual death for from great white sharks or shark bites was 41. <laughs> so ten, more people die. Ten times from, more people die every year from falling out of bed than shark attacks. Fucking hell. Yeah, worldwide, 57. Okay. Number two. Yep. Randy Klein's impaled on the ball... Ball on the bill <laughs> of a swordfish. That's mental. That would be horrendous. Three, falling off a ladder and landing head first in a water butt. <laughs> What's a water butt? Uh, it's a collection device for rainwater, so you can use it on your plants. Could you just get out? Uh, maybe, maybe not. No. Four, man killed by his own explosive whilst trying to steal from a condom dispenser. What? Yep, you read that right. Matt, so it's only happened once. Maybe. Sick you, it says man. Yeah, it could be more. Yeah, but if it was, I think I'd specify. Because it says four. Two people per year die. <laughs> yeah, from trying to steal condoms. Okay. Hit by a coconut falling off of a tree. Approximately 150 <laughs> people each year killed by coconuts. That's still more than shark kills. <laughs> man died after stabbed in eye with an oh. umbrella. Jesus. Oh, no. Teenager taking a selfie with a loaded handgun shot himself in the throat. U.S. cyclist Troy Earl Smith Jr. shot himself to death with gun carried in his breast pocket. Oh, cycling? And yeah. Just goes off? Fucking hell. <laughs> That's how that goes. Man crushed whilst moving a fridge freezer. Yep. Okay. Undertaker Mark Bourget crushed by his own coffins. I didn't know that was the Undertaker's name. Sorry? I didn't know that was the Undertaker's name. Mach Bourget. Yeah. Oh, the wrestler. The wrestler, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got some more substantial ones. So that was Substantial. Ten. Substantial. Yeah. So, death by beard. Oh, it's dangerous for both of us. The first Maybe one. A bit less you. But... A bit less me, yeah. Especially the way he, this guy died. So, Hans Steininger. Oh, yeah from Austria was famous for two things. The first was having the world's longest beard, uh, four feet and seven inches long. Jesus. And number two, for dying due to his beard in 1567. 1567? Yeah. Wow. It's a, while ago. It's a long time ago. In 1567, there was a fire in Hans Town and from his haste... He Does that sound like a really shit sitcom? Hans, Hans Town. <laughs> Everyone's a fucking perv. Welcome to Hangstown. We're going to touch your women. <laughs> well, there was a fire in Hangstown, and from his haste, he forgot to roll up his beard. By accidentally stepping on his beard, he lost balance, stumbled, and died after falling and breaking his neck. Was he only four foot tall? Maybe. How does beard get under his foot? They were a lot shorter back then, Josh. He does high kicks when he runs. <laughs> Oh, okay, fair enough. Number two, bit his tongue. Who did? Alan Pinkerton. Oh. Alan Pinkerton, the founder of the famous Pinkerton Detective Agency, died in Chicago 1884 after he slipped on the pavement and severely bit down oh, on his tongue. Oh, that's horrid. Due to the painful bite, his tongue became infected with gangrene, which resulted in his untimely death. Well, that's a shame. My mum's fallen off uh, a wall once. And got gangrene. They couldn't put her back together again. Oh, my God. You just called your mother an egg. <laughs> you just <laughs> call your mother an egg. No, she fell off a wall once. We call her Melly Egg. 
Alex is the mum's name now. <laughs> so yeah, um, she fell off a wall. Yeah, and she fell down on her face, and her um, bottom teeth went through her bottom. Like mine did. Yeah, mm. like that. Oh, and it was like sticking out. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty rank. I did that. I bounced castle. I need myself in the chin. Sorry, I need myself in the chin. The third one stabbed his toe. Uh, famous Tennessee whiskey distiller Jack Daniel. Oh shit! This died. Is the guy. This is the man. Died of blood poisoning that originated in his toe. One early morning in 1911, Jack Daniel kicked his office safe in anger because he couldn't remember the combination to open it. The anger, that anger, and a powerful kick to the safe resulted in an infection in his toe and ultimately Jack's death. Jack Daniels' last words were, one last drink, please. Oh, damn. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, no, he died. Yeah, but devastating. I don't know. He couldn't try his, his new flavors, uh, which. Drowning by gifts. Oh, all right. Rub it in, you fucking pricks. <laughs> oh, it's Malfoy. <laughs> Draco Malfoy was. No. Draco was the first legislator of Athens in ancient Greece and whose legacy is known for its harshness. Thus, the term draconian ah. is often related to unforgiving rules or laws. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't. Draco's death in the 7th century BC came about when he was smothered by a downpour of cloaks, hats, and shirts thrown as gifts by his appreciative supporters at the... Uh, um... A... 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 Theatre? I don't I know. know. You've butchered that. Yeah. Greek theatre. There you go. I mean, go on. Do you reckon they threw the the clothes horse down with it? But the clothes horse probably did. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's such a cheery horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throw me. <laughs> no, I think um, I don't know. Just accepted. Really, fair play. Good on you guys. <clears throat> Eleazar Aravan. That's not what it says. Eleazar Avaran, a biblical hero, was killed in 163 BC by an elephant in the Battle of Beth Zek Aria, according to 1 Maccabees uh, 64346. 46. In order to defeat the king. Uh, why? What are these <laughs> fucking names, man? King AVE. <laughs> King, King Anus. <laughs> anti chos <laughs> anti chodes. Yeah. Defeat that king that's anti chod. <laughs> uh, he rushed into the battle, thrusting his spear into the belly of the king's elephant. Oh. The elephant died and fell on top of him, killing him also. Yeah, fucking good. Yeah, prick. God. Stained. Yeah, kinda. Strained bladder. There you go. Tycho Baha! <laughs> <laughs> Bro! You're just insulting these people that die. How do you say that then? Bra! <laughs> <laughs> Tycho Bra! A Danish nobleman. Tycho Bra! <laughs> was known for his comprehensive astronomy. <laughs> I pre read this one, I was like, I'm going to get that right. Comprehensive astronomy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, comprehensive astronomical research. Well done. Tycho died October 24th, 1601 from... Bra- oh, I missed that, Halloween. <laughs> from bra- <laughs> from, bra- <laughs> from that bladder of complications. <laughs> from bladder complications after... Uh, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> after attending a banquet where he refused to use the restroom, knowing that it was impolite to leave before the meal was done. After the banquet... Tycho no longer was able to urinate, and ten days later he died. It is reported that he wrote his own, what is that? Epitaph. Epitaph stating, He lived like a sage and <laughs> died like a fool. I read that as stage. So did I, that's why I started. <laughs> he lived a like stage. a sage and onion stuffing, and he <laughs> died like a sage and onion stuffing. <sighs> he fall to the brim with urine. Okay, the next quick fire ten. Go. 
Crushed by your partner. Oh, don't know what that means. Uh, sexuals. <laughs> Jesus. In 1975, Alex Mitchell laughed so hard at the goodies Ecky Thump episode that he died of heart failure. Oh, shit, he laughed himself to death. It's actually a Monty Python sketch. Not this guy, but... Yeah. Uh, man run over by his own vehicle. TikTok trend. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing the Kiki challenge. Like oh, I see. He might have been. I, I, that's false. I don't know if that's true. There was a guy. Um, there once was a man who went to. Anyway, there, there was a guy who um, <laughs> ran himself over once. Yeah, I think. I mean, he's here, but yeah. I, I heard of that before. Texan Michael Warner, 58, died of a lethal sherry enema. Oh, a sherry enema. He had a sherry enema. A sherry enema. A sherry enema. <laughs> uh, Why Sherry? Because he's posh. Well, don't look up Sherry Anima. I want to. Oh, mate. It's... Can't be any worse it's than this... Swindon on Reddit. Yes, it can be. You know what an enema is, yeah? Uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, charges dropped in Sherry Anima death. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's him. That's the guy. Is that the guy that died? <laughs> Why is there a guy drinking a vodka? Cow. Look, I looked at him. I don't understand what this is. <laughs> 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 That's just somebody being roofied. <laughs> That's Alex's friends on the weekend. Jesus. Okay, so we now know Sherry Animas. We know nothing more now. <laughs> <laughs> um, king Adolf Frederick of Sweden. The king who ate himself to death. He just ate loads. Oh, I read that as like he was eating himself. Oh, just scrat on his shoulder. He's like, oh, I'm in the mood for my own <laughs> show. 24 people each year are killed by champagne corks. Oh, you know what? I believe that because some people are so careless when they pop their cork. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Why are you laughing at that? It's not sexual. The reason. So did it. What? You killed somebody? Yeah, that's what gets me off. I like death sex. <laughs> Fuck. Um... He really will take anything you can get. Strangled by neckties or scarves. I believe that P9. Oh, yeah. They, they were horrible back yeah. in school. Yeah. My brother actually full on punched somebody around the head because they peanut him once. Jesus. Yeah. Barry Pilgrim yeah. trampled by cattle in the Derbyshire. In the Derbyshire. I believe it. I believe it. Those bastards, you know, when they oh, want yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Cattle's fucking them. ruthless yeah. sometimes, isn't it? Oh, they just don't care. Peggy McNair and Mark Muir <laughs> trampled tramp to death by camels on a farm. There's loads of tramples. Loads of tramples. And number 20. Alexandru Pop, 46, eaten by a drove of pigs. That'd be a horrendous way to go. That would be, because you're, presumably you're still alive. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It doesn't say eaten to death, so maybe... But that's it's weird ways to die. So you didn't die and then get eaten by pigs. That's true. You must, yeah. Ugh. Do pigs have like sharp teeth then? Yeah. Oh shit. They eat fucking everything in all. Yeah, I know they're they're greedy, aren't they? Like, no, not a good, they're just not picky. <laughs> they are piggy though. <laughs> I want to offer my shares of the OCP to Brad um, for a low, low price of free. Um, just kidding. He's not. <laughs> just kidding. That's not happening. You will have to deal with Alex. <laughs> Pitched ball. Okay, Here we go. go. The yep. next load. <laughs> saying weird words. Stop saying load. <laughs> Stop saying load the way you do. At the top of the fifth inning, Ray Chappy Chapman, shortstop for the Cleveland Indians baseball team. Have you heard was, of them? No. no. Great. <laughs> was hit by a submarine ball. <laughs> submarine ball? Does that what mean, is that? does it dive? As in like they Come throw up. it. And it, huh? That's not diving. <laughs> That's emerging. Okay, uh, <clears throat> where did I get to? Uh, he was hit by a submarine ball thrown by Carl Mays. Uh, the baseball hit Chapman in the temple. Chapman collapsed and died August 17, 1920. 
About 12 hours later, he remains the only baseball player killed by a pitched ball. I think there's going to be some punctuation there because it says about 12 hours later, he remains. So that means, to me, that sounds like 12 hours later, somebody else got Oh, there killed. is a full stop. It, oh, just, okay. it blends in with that. Stuff. The image in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. He died okay. about 12 hours later. He remains the only person killed by yeah. a pitch ball. Okay. Yeah, not 12 hours later, he still <laughs> yeah, is. They have a competition. Well, he lasted 12 hours before he got another person killed by a ball. <laughs> Kicked off of a train. On July the 2nd, 1903, Ed Delahanty, a Hall of Fame baseball player, oh, was the f- for the Philadelphia Phillies, they're very creative on their names, aren't they? Yeah, bloody Ray... Jackson Texans! Ray Chappy Chapman and the Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> that sounds like a band. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Ray Chappy Chapman and the Philadelphia Phillies. I got killed by a foul ball. It was submarine at first. It hit me in the temple and my head began to burst. And... <laughs> <laughs> Twelve hours later, <laughs> I died in the hospital. To this day, I remain the only player killed. And I said, hey, aim for my balls next time. I'd rather be castrated than die. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> That's <was> good. <laughs> oh. I'm glad we got that on record. Isn't it? <laughs> That's just stuff off the dome. Uh, he played for the we Philadelphia didn't even Phillies. <laughs> yeah. My name is Chappy Chapman, and I play for the Phillies. Well, if you're going to throw a ball, just aim for my wheelie. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, you sound like I'm cutting you off from a song. Oh, that's all right. Do I, yours. I ain't got a song. Oh. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Ed Delahanty, a Hall of Fame baseball player for the Philadelphia Phillies, was kicked off of a train by the conductor due to being drunk and violent. After Ed got off the train, he drunkenly wandered across a bridge in New York and eventually fell off and into a river. Unfortunately, the river led him to the oh Niagara God. Falls. That's a bit excessive. Yeah, he died because he got kicked off a train. No, he died because he fell in a river that then led to the Niagara Falls. Hmm. Bit misleading there as a title. Yeah. <laughs> The only connection is that the only reason he ended up in that river was because he was kicked off the train. Yeah, he got in the river himself. Yeah, he just climbed in. He heard the song, he thought it was catchy. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, flood. On October the 17th, 1814, the Mew and Company Brewery had a huge vat. And huge vats of beer rupture and rush into the streets of Tottenham Court Road. In total, 322,000 gallons have flooded the town and eight people drowned in the beer or died from injuries. To this day, the incident is referred to the London Beer Flood. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. <clears throat> never heard of the London Beer Flood. I think it's bullshit. I mean, it'd be good if they did something like that for Oktoberfest. What, kill a bunch of people and drown yeah. them in beer. Mass murder. <laughs> Mosquito curse. Oh. George Herbert, an Egyptologist who helped uncover the tomb of Tutankhamun, died mysteriously on the 5th of April 1923 after being hit in the temple by a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> George Herbert got hit in the head with a mosquito today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's not really mysterious, though, is it? Because we know they carry malaria. <laughs> so, it's well, it's, it's, yeah, mysterious uh, was, to them. He was bitten by a mosquito, not hit. Allegedly, yeah. many felt his death was caused by a mummy's curse, Ooh. which was perpetu- perpetuated by a public warning. Well, I don't know. Are you okay? <laughs> I feel like I'm dead. It is. It is definitely your character to keep messing up <laughs> words. Those so are fine. Which was perpetuated by a public warning a few weeks earlier by novelist Mary Coretti. Oh, yeah, but he's always chatting shit. Mary stated there would be dire consequences for anyone who entered the tomb. Fuck off. How do you know? Get out. (laughs) Robot murder. Kenji Arada. I was looking forward to this one. The rest of it shit. Except for Chappie Chapman. 
create a song. His name was Chappy Chapman. He worked in a plant. Is it just me that really wants to listen back to the song? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in later. Thank you. Uh, robot murder Kenji Arada worked at a plant in Tokyo uh, that was operating by 50,000... No, it was operated by 50,000 industrial robots. Yeah. 50,000 in 1981 as well. That's pretty mad. Yeah. On July the 4th, 1981... Now we just shag him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Back in uh, my day, we were using them to create amazing things. Now just people put their penises in them. <laughs> That's right, Kenji. <laughs> Kenji failed to completely turn off a malfunctioning robot he was fixing. Due to his error, the broken robot pushed him into the grinding machine oh. with its hydraulic arm. Kenji is known as the first, one of the first people to ever be killed by a robot. Jeez, that's, that's st- horrific. I want to. That's another statistic I want to look up in the future: is how many people have actually been killed by robots. Mm. Mm. I uh, was told a thing about people getting killed in like industrial works before yeah. one of my previous bosses uh he worked in the steel works back in the day mm. and there were two people that he would talk about fairly regularly that died one of them um uh it was quite frequent that one of the steel chambers as such that would where you'd have all like the molten steel would explode essentially. oh shit and there were two people in specific in the in particular, that he would mention a lot. So the first one was one that uh, tried to get out from this all this molten steel coming towards him, and he was trying to get out any way that he could. He was trying to shove himself through a grate in the wall that was like this, probably the size of my shoulders. It's yeah. a fully grown man yeah. trying to get through this, and there was a fan in there, yeah. like an aircon fan, and he just sliced the fuck out of himself trying to get out. You're like, Jesus Christ. You had to pick the lesser of two evils there. Yeah. Molten metal or, or yeah. fan blade. But the other one wasn't quite so fortunate in a way. Because, fortunate? Because oh. this one got covered in the molten steel just oh, straight up. And crazy. he died before he even hit the floor because the steel covered him. Yeah. And he just basically, his head just started to like expand. His face expanded to like twice the size, apparently. Yeah. And as he was like falling to the ground in slow motion because this molten metal was just hardening as he was falling towards the floor like this, yeah. He was just dead. And then he hit the floor and it was like, Ding. I would hope so. I'd hope, like, I, I Jesus hope he'd be Christ. Dead at that point. Yeah. Well, that's horrific. That it's horrendous. But yeah. Just a little tangent there. Nothing about robots. No, but it was industrial stuff. Oh, it's, it's very interesting. Don't, don't worry, don't get offensive. It was a good story. <laughs> I will fucking hit you. Shooting a cactus. David Grundman, a, uh, <laughs> okay, in 1982, fired several close-range shots with a shotgun at a saguado cactus. The cacti, which stood 26 Fuck foot tall. Fucking hell. That's, That's a, a tall one. old boy. Dropped a four-foot branch on top of Grunman's head, Ooh. ultimately crushing him to death. Grunman's death is immortalized in the song Segura, written by the Texas band, the Austin Lounge Lizards. Wow. Should we, we need to have a listen to that. Should we have a look? We just listened to the little song there. Seguaro. It's, it's quite catchy. Quite good, actually. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the story yeah, of David not Grumman. Cigar, it's not Segura. It's, it's not Saguaro. Saguaro. Yeah, they've spelt it wrong if you're on this website. Get it right. <sighs> Wait, hang on. Was that a repeat there? Well, look at that. Look at the Death by Desert. Or Dessert, sorry. Ah, now, that you. gives yeah. you a little bit of thingy. Yeah, I knew I recognized that name. But we'll move on to that one in a minute. Yeah, you got to do another 10. Yeah, I do. Yeah, boy. So, quick fire. Go. Spectator death. <coughs> Ooh, spectator deaths. Deaths. Yes. Hit by golf ball, Shit. cricket ball, racing slash rally car or motorcycle. Oh, imagine getting hit by a full car as it's rolled up on the side bank. That was the story I was going to tell you. What? Right, here we go. go Little on. side tangent here. Yeah, another one. Um, So, there was a guy who really, I can't remember his name, which is really annoying, but there was a guy who, it was his absolute dream to be able to fight a bear, right? Like a full-on grizzly bear. It was just, he dedicated his life 
to wanting to do this, right? And he uh, considered himself quite a, an outdoorsy bloke. Right? It just made me think of this. Just bear with me. All right, yeah, yeah. Give, give. Um, and he decided that he was going to train himself to be able to take on a bear one-on-one, basically. Okay. And if you want to hear like the proper, decent version of the story, head over to the Distractable podcast because they tell it on there um, on one of the episodes, which I'll include a link to in the bio. Uh, so there's this guy. He wants to fight this bear. So he decides that the best way to fight a bear is to defend yourself because it's obviously got massive claws. It's got fucking massive teeth that can bite your head off. Yeah. And there's countless tales of people just being mauled really easily by bears, just going, oh, fuck off, and just batting them out of the way. Yeah. So this guy decides he's going to build himself. Do you know what the rule is for the color of bears? Quickly, before you finish your story. Uh, one's play dead, one's... Yeah, but do you know which are the difference? Shit. There's, uh, there is a rule, but there is a rhyme, it changes depending on who you read. If it's, carry on. If it's brown, get down. down. If it's black, fight back. Because there's no way in hell. If it's black, you ain't. If it's if it's a black bear, it's chasing you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Best thing to do is stand your ground and fight back against it. Okay. But if it's a brown, get down. They want you to submit. I'm a, I'm a little subby boy. Yeah. I'll be a little subby bear boy. Uh, yeah. That well, felt horrible saying that. I don't know how you yeah, can say rank. things like that confidently. <laughs> I guess you know true nature. Nah, just little, little bitch. Carry on with your story. So Sorry. this guy. Uh, decides that he's going to make some armor. Yeah. But not like medieval armor. That's the first thing that popped in. He, not he's chain like, mail? N- well, no. No. It's like proper welded together. Iron Man. Weather, Mark like one Iron kind Man of type stuff, right? Like Mark one armor. Yeah. Proper welds and shit. Kind of. He's not a professional welder, so it looks a bit oh, tatty. Dodgy. but yeah. yeah. That sort of thing. Okay. Like full on thing. Yeah. And he makes several of these. Jesus. Like he spends thousands of thousands of dollars on making this. He spends most of his savings and his pension on these armor sets. That's so ridiculous. That he can fight a bear. That's right? A, how old was he when he fought the bear? Do you know? Uh, I want to say that's what it's leading up like to. Like mid, sort of midway through the forties, fifties. His pension ain't going to be big at mid forties, fifties unless he's a multi-millionaire. Yeah, I can't really remember, to be oh, honest. Okay. I was going to listen to it again before I told it, but now this has come up, I'm sort of Rem- you know, really trying to remember it. stuff. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so he makes all these marks of armor, and he decides that the next step is obviously he needs to train to see if he will survive against a bear before going up against a bear. Mm-hmm. So what do you think um, was the first thing that he did? Panda. For a panda. Come here, little fucking bastard eating bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the diet of a panda. Bastards. <laughs> I was going to say bamboo, but I forgot what the word was. <laughs> you bastard eating bamboo bastard. <laughs> bastard trees. Um, no, it is not an animal. Oh, his what? mother. <laughs> his mother in law. No, he got a load of bikers. Oh, no. So he got a load of bikers. To just full on pelt the fuck out of him with baseball bats. Jesus. And see if he could survive. He did, obviously. <laughs> what um, shit experiment. If I die, oh, my life dreams over. <laughs> and so he did that. Yeah. Did you know what the the step up from that was? He was like, right, I've, I've, fought, to bear, then. I've fought baseball bat wheeled in bikers. <laughs> yeah. Can't quite go to bear. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm gonna do a next level. What do you sure. reckon the next level was? Is it animal related at all? No. You still humans? Kind of. Hit by a bus. You're on the right tracks. Hit by a train. Fully hit by a car. Oh my God. So he paid some bloke to just fully thwack him like 50 mile an hour in this thing. Oh my God. In a suit of armor. He'd survived. Yeah. Um, He's yet to find somebody willing to lend him a bear that he can fight. Is he alive? He's alive. He's still alive. Just go into the fucking wilderness, mate. Go find one. A wild one's going to beat you up more than a, a. like domesticated one. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah, there we go. So his name was Troy Hurtabees. Um, someone who, someone, someone we can all learn something from. Hurtabees was a man who spent his life trying to perfect a grizzly-proof suit, and he was willing to put himself through hell to accomplish his goal. Was a man. He died. 
What is that? Did they make a film? Surely not. Star of Project Grizzly. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, he is dead. Is this another I love my dad moment? <laughs> Maybe. Troy James Hurtabies, I might be saying that wrong, uh, died in the... Tw- oh, fucking hell. 2018, June 17th, which was three days ago. And a few years. <laughs> <laughs> nice maths there, bro. He was a Canadian. Oh my god, he died in 2018, <laughs> three, uh, yeah, three days ago. <laughs> He was a Canadian inventor and conservationist uh, noted for self-testing his own bizarre I- I- creations. These inventions included various ray generators, fire paste, um, and the Ursus personal armor suit and the Trojan ballistic suit of armor. That is mental. All right, let's, let's see if we can find a picture That is of mad. It's a documentary. Is it actually? It is, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a Canadian documentary. Project Grizzly. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, shit. An hour and 12 minutes. Do you have to pay for it? No. Mate, we should watch that. Okay. All right. Sweet. Right, well, yeah. You can stay after I've come for my haircut. Yeah, fair enough. (laughs) Uh, Where do we get to? 20... Oh, that was the first one. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, suicidal man who threatened to kill himself with a knife is shot dead by police. Yeah, but Jesus. There is a death by police, though. There's still a suicide. So he still yeah. achieved his goal. Well, yeah. I never got that, though, because they say that suicide is illegal. Yeah. And yet... They'll what? arrest you for committing suicide instead of seeking, like helping you seek it's help. It's so stupid. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they, um, because even if... <laughs> They have to put the welfare of everybody else first. If the suicidal man's threatening other people... Oh, yeah, that's fair then, enough. Yes, but yeah, he's, he's still achieved his goal. He's suicided by police. Yeah. Which is a shame. It should never that have gone to shame. that point. Roger Wallace was killed by his own remote control plane. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Stepping backwards off a cliff or similar to help photographer get you in frame. Oh, mate, imagine that. Fuck imagine you just handed hell. your phone to a stranger and they're like, back a bit, mate. Back a bit. Ah! Yeah, they just bend down to tie their shoe and they look up and he's just gone. <laughs> just like, gone. What? <laughs> Got a free phone out of it. Falling from the top of a lighthouse. Oh, oh mate. Me. I've, I've actually been at the top of a lighthouse before. That would be horrendous. And it feels like you're falling because it's like that vertigo feeling because mm. it's slightly slanted. And you're like, oh, don't like yeah. this. It's horrible. And we've had, the, the, we've already had that. Falling off an inflatable artwork. Oh, not that one. <laughs> One underneath it. Falling into a water butt. That's twice on this. Oh, yeah, course. that is, yeah. yeah. Fuck that off him. Drowning in a barrel of mead. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> what a sweet way. Drinking too much water, drowning, yeah. Yeah. Drown by drinking too much water. That is mad. That is, yeah. Uh, killed by an industrial firework placed on wow, head. Wow, fucking, yeah, of course. Jesus. Especially industrial. Anything with industrial in front of it is huge. Yeah, you don't want that shit. Imagine an industrial sparkler. Oh. Do you reckon you can get them? I think that's just called a firework. <laughs> yeah, quick Google. <laughs> We've Googled so much. Was that just incest on your so I fucking right? hope not. <laughs> oh, zip switch. <laughs> Same thing. Same. <laughs> <laughs> industrial sparkler. What a description. <laughs> Industrial sparkler. Ah, that's it. Believable. That's that's Use, literally it. Uses an igniter. Ah, okay. So it's not even a sparkler. So it's, it's an igniter. Okay. Right. Well, death by dessert. Oh. Adolf Frederick, the king of Sweden, ate himself to death in 1771 after having a meal. Fast. Sorry? This was one of your fast ones, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. After having a meal consisting of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, cabbage soup, smoked herring, champagne, and 14 servings of his favorite dessert, Selma, bread dipped in bowl of hot milk. That sounds quite nice, actually. Um, he is... <laughs> Don't have 14 servings of it. Die. <laughs> he is known by Swedish children as the king who ate himself to death. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> All right, mate, he's dead. 
<laughs> bit of respect. Ain't coming back. Man. Put Seven, some respect uh, on his name. <laughs> Embracing the moon. The Chinese poet Li Po was well known. <laughs> You good? Imagine if said he was poet. Then his uh, his name would literally be the poet in French. <laughs> Lipot. Sorry. Lipo. I found that way funny than I should have done. It was well known for create. I actually read that as the Chinese poet Lipo was well famous. <laughs> he was well famous. <laughs> was well known for creating his famous poetry intoxicated one drunken evening while in his boat on the yangs river li po fell in love with the moon in his desperation desperation <laughs> oh my god in his desperation <laughs> moon won't shag you mate in his desperation uh to embrace his newfound lover he fell into the river and drowned <laughs> poor what? sucker did he see it in the reflection was like yeah that's good yeah. enough <laughs> yeah. Hello, oh. Mooney, my old friend. <laughs> I want to sleep with you. Oh, here we go. Too much laughter. On the 24th of March, 1975, Alex Mitchell passed away after watching the Kung Fu Capers episode of The Goodies. Reportedly, due to the TV episode, Mitchell laughed continuously for 25 minutes and fell f- fell f- <laughs> and finally fell dead on the sofa from heart failure. His widow later... <laughs> <laughs> that was window. Yeah, his window. His widow later sent a thank you letter to the goodies for making Mitchell's final moments in life so pleasant. Thank you for killing my husband. Now I can sleep with my boss without guilt. <laughs> daredevil. Bobby Leach was the ultimate daredevil. He was the second man to go over the Niagara Falls. <laughs> First guy died. <laughs> First guy didn't mean to. <laughs> He got kicked off a train. (laughs) In a metal barrel. And he performed many other terrifying stunts, such as swimming in Whirlpool Rapids. However, his outrageous stunts would not keep him from the dangers of slipping. In 1926, while walking down the road, Bobby slipped on an orange peel. Oh, no! The fall injured his leg and caused it to become infected with gangrene. He died a short while after. Fucking gangrene, man. It takes too many people too soon. R.I.P. Pour one out for the homies. <laughs> um, Eiffel Tower jump. In 1911, Franz Reichelt decided to try out his new invention, the first overcoat parachute. Oh, no. Did you ever, like, expect that to work? Yes. You jump off, like, a curb and expect it to catch enough wind to yeah. stop Yeah. I was so pissed when it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first overcoat parachute. To test his new coat, Reich, Rachel, Rachel, Raquel, Call him R. Rachel decided <laughs> to jump from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Why? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe, Rachel, there's some stepping stones before Eiffel Tower. Of like course. a curb, like the rest of us. <laughs> Unfortunately, his invention was less than perfect, and it did not succeed in slowing his descent. Reichelt died instantly on impact. Well, thank you. Thank Jesus. Thank God it that. wasn't the bloody gangrene. <laughs> yeah. At least he didn't kick a safe and get gangrene. Booby trapped. Two compulsive hoarders, Homer and Langley Collier, <laughs> set up booby traps to protect their stuff from intruders. One unfortunate day in 1947, as Langley was crawling through a tunnel of garbage, he set off one of his own booby traps. Langley was crushed under tons of garbage and his paralysed brother starved because he was unable to feed himself. You know there's a TV show that kind of replicated this. Orders? No. Oh. It was a cop show. And um, I think it's literally called 911. I can't remember. There's an episode where they have to crawl through a hoarder's house because he's trapped. (laughs) And there's literally tunnels and booby traps that lead to this guy. So I think they took inspiration. Okay, well, I think... We'll leave it there anyway, because that's quite a lot what we've done already, and we've still got basically another. We've just done half, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically another half. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what do you think of today's episode? That's all right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> not the normal, not as uh, not as comedic. Can we have a quick listen back before we finish to the uh, to the song I created? We can. 
obviously have to stop this first yeah go on do that then so yeah thanks thanks everyone for listening to uh today's episode the mysterious ways people have well not mysterious really is it it's just weird weird yeah weird, weird, weird. ways people have died You can go and check us out on socials if you want to. Uh, we're on Instagram, the underscore OCP. We're on uh, Reddit, r slash the OCP. We have an email, original copycats contact at gmail.com. We have a YouTube, original copycats. Go and give us a little subscribe. Um, and that's pretty much it at the moment. Just go and look at the Instagram. I think that's the most important out of all of them because we are quite active on there and we'd love to see you. So go and do that. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for listening and join us again next week when we'll be doing something else. Not sure what yet. Anything to say, Josh? See you next Tuesday. We will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Well, that was a good episode, wasn't it, Josh? That was brilliant. That was really good. I, en- I really, I, I especially enjoyed how uh, everyone sounded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here just to say before you go, could you please spread us around? We'd love it if you could just tell your friends about us and potentially leave us a review where you can. You can rate now on Spotify. Yes, so you can. You can rate us. So if you could rate us five, we'd really appreciate it. But if not, that's fine too. If you do rate us five or anything above, I know you can't, but if you somehow hack the systems, I will personally... Don't. Don't continue. Thank you. That's better. There we go. Well done. So yes, <laughs> if you could please feel free to follow us on all the socials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.